did they mess my order or what? What is this? I ordered a protein style burger, not a lettuce burger. Would you guys believe me if I ordered a burger with no buns on it, but instead onions on top of it? That's crazy. What is up, you guys? It's No Scenarios. Today, you guys, I got something real special from In N Out, and you guys may be asking, what are you talking about? In N Out does not have anything new. Yeah, you are right, but do you know about the secret menu? No, you don't at all because it's so secret. So, people, there's a bunch of critics saying it sucks, it's the worst, this and that, and I want to say ignore all that. To be honest with you, the circuit menu is kind of a strange thing, but honestly, it's a fun activity to try out. I bought a few things from it, and I'm honestly excited to try it out, which I got the Flying Dutchman, the grilled cheese, the four-on-four four burger, protein style, which this one's kind of a strange one, but I like this one a lot. They also have their own kind of sauce to it, which is called like the, what, the secret sauce. It's basically like a cane sauce. It looks like cane sauce, and I'm not sure what it tastes like, but I'm assuming the way the way it looks, I think it's gonna taste like the cane sauce. In and out presents it in the best way possible. Dude, In and Out has its own unique, like old fashioned style, and that's what I love about In and Out. So enough talking, but yeah, let's get straight to this point. Here it is. So the very top is the four by four burger in the middle, which you may be asking, what in the world is this, man? It is the protein style lettuce. So basically it's like a vegan version of a burger. And the bottom is the grilled cheese. Yes, they have the grilled cheese. I also got some animal fries, which is like, I'm. Uh, it has what cheese, the secret sauce, the shredded onions. And I think that's about it, y'all. It looks kind of fake. Look how, oh my God, I want to eat this one right now. And the final is the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Guys, so I don't know what's special about this one. This is like the recent one that I recently heard. And it's it's a weird thing. It's basically just two patties and onions on it. So the first stop on my trail is the uh, Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Like I said, there's nothing too fancy about it. It's just the fact that they replaced the buns with onions on top of it. And there's supposed to be onions below it, which in fact there is. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. So three, two, one. It's not bad. It's kind of good. Mm. The onions, I'm not gonna lie, they're busting. Mm. I I'm a big hater of onions, but this onions is kind of changing my mood, kind of changing the way I think of it. Wow. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, that was really good. Get the Flying Dutchman, wow. It has a nice taste and quality kick to it and it's really, it feels really fresh from the oven. <laughs> Before my animal fries kinda get cold, I wanna eat them right now, so let's do this, y'all. The nice, freshly done animal fries, wow. So let's eat this bad boy up. Okay, it's kinda, okay, it's kinda glued in together. not bad this sauce their secret sauce they have right here tastes like cane sauce kind of ish this everything that i'm seeing right now their burgers their fries reminds me of this movie welcome to good burger can i take your order you know from the movie good burger that movie is so pristine Okay. It's nice after uh, letting it just cool down for a while. Everything kind of gets glued up together and it's kind of hard for me to eat it. It's not bad. It's really, it's all right. It's just personally, I'm not just eat it like that. Here is the grilled cheese, y'all. I took up the cover. And so basically what it has on it, it's just, I'm assuming everything except the patty. It's 
It's strange. It's strange. Mmm. Um. Tastes just like a normal burger without the patties on top of it, but um, it's good. Next up is the protein style burger. This is what I'm excited for. And in fact, matter of fact, I might get the cover just in case because I am not gonna spill it on top of me. But here it is, y'all. If you like kind of push the patty together, you can kind of open the gateway of the burger. And in case you didn't know, it has tomatoes, onions in the patty. And as the buns, lettuce. Oh my Lord. It's so wet that it cannot wait for me to eat it. All right, in three, two, one. Everything I'm chewing right now is just lettuce. They put too much lettuce. Mm. Mm. This one. Mm. This one's really strange, man. I don't. I'm not. I'm not liking this one at all. Oh my lord! I'm way too juicy and wet. Not this one. Holy whack-a-mole. And the final step, which one I'm kind of excited for, is the four-on-four four burger, which is just four stacks of, like, patties. Look at that. It's humongous. It's like two sizes of a Whopper. Here it is. I'm going to take a big at bite. So in three, two, one. Okay. Bro, look at the inside. Wow. That looks really good. I'm kind of getting full, but looking at the inside, y'all, look at that. It's making me eat more of this. Mmm. Mmm. It is way too much for me, bro. All right, y'all, let's try the secret sauce. Look at that. I'm gonna put it on the four and four burger. So look at that. Let's see if it drops. Ooh, God damn. All right, let's try this bad boy out. In three, look at that. Oh my God, I'm sorry for the angles, y'all. All right, in three, two, one. It's good, it's good. So I'm gonna rate these I'm gonna rate the top to the bottom. So my rating from the top to the bottom, from the bottom, definitely the protein style burger, bro. That was so juicy and it just contained a lot of lettuce. Next up is the grilled cheese. Honestly, I think that's kind of pointless. I really think it's pointless. It's so, it's ridiculous. I had a strange way of feeling it. I just didn't like it as much and I feel like it was a waste of money. Next up is the four on four burger. Uh, all I can say, there's nothing wrong with it. I love the quality. The taste was amazing. It was fresh, nice, warm, juicy. Next up is the animal fries. I like the animal fries. They can give a bigger, like a like a bigger basket. I just hate how small they are because every time when I pick it up, small pieces of fries kind of fall out. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with it. I enjoyed it. And the first, finally, is the Fly Dutchman. Okay, I just want to say that I did not expect this to be on the very first. The Fly Dutchman was the least I was expecting from the top. It may sound ridiculous and it may sound kind of crazy. I understand what they mean by it tastes different, it tastes better. It really does. I know you won't believe what I say, whatever comes to my mouth, but if, dude, you gotta try out the Fly Dutchman. Order the Fly Dutchman with full onions on top of it. I ate that up, I made it go. I'm kind of glazing at this point, like, you know, talking too much positivity. But yes, it's a great place to try out. I love In-N-Out. In-N-Out is the best burger in the city, in, in the United States in general. So as my fans, y'all may be asking, is it worth it? No, see, what's the rating? What's the rating? Um, Well, in fact, I'm not going to do a rating because I, I just see a lot of these critics reviews saying how it's the stupidest review, the stupidest menu this and that i just want to say fun activity to just enjoy to really you know expand your taste to new options in and out is the cheapest restaurant and also like the fact how they treat their employees wow 
I hear they get paid almost 20 per hour, bro. 20 per hour? Dude. Dude, you'll be making bank out of that restaurant. If you ever feel really bored, exhausted, or just very just lousy, hey, come and try out the in and out secret menu. There's a ton of options you can try out. It's not on the menu though, so you gotta currently go online and look it up. So I'll put a picture right here to let you know what the secret menu has. And it, it, it contains a lot of options. It's really nice. I love the I love the burgers. The quality taste is really good. It really kicks in when you take that first bite. Their sauce is amazing. Their protein style is kind of strange, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Other than that, like and subscribe and see you guys very soon. Cut. Ciao. Everything happens for a reason. God brings people into your life unexpectedly. Me the message of the video, y'all, I just want to say be grateful for everything in life. Be different from others. Do not let people get to you. Do not let people get to your mindset. Do not let people get to your personality. I just want to tell y'all from experience because honestly, I'm down to my last two months of school and my year is coming to an end my life is about to get started and it's, it's scary man it is scary because you know it, you don't know man there's always stuff that will get in your way and this and that and um it's just something that no one's ready for but at the end god will be there for you always be grateful for that you you're alive that you're who you are you know it's it's crazy i'm almost done with my years i'm about to graduate y'all will see me with my graduation outfit all looking nice and, and handsome i hope you guys enjoyed this video other than that like and subscribe and see you guys very soon cut ciao